Hey guys, what is up? Crucial here, bringing you another Modern Warfare 3 commentary, this time on the map Underground on a mode Free For All, and I go 30 and 5. Anyway, I want to start this commentary this week asking you guys how your Thanksgiving was. Hopefully you spent it with some of your in-laws, some of your family members you don't see very often or live with. I actually spent my Thanksgiving with my grandma, who I love dearly, and uh, as many of you may not know, I am Polish, so the way we celebrate our traditional Thanksgiving, I'm sure, is a little bit different the way you celebrate yours. Um... I don't know the way you have your turkey dinners, but I know a lot of people like mashed potatoes, sweet potatoes, boiled potatoes, baked potatoes. Uh, for me, it has to be boiled potatoes, and I can't tell you guys why. It's just good with a lot of meat groups, so it's pretty much my preference. And uh, speaking of meat groups, uh, I know Thanksgiving, you know, everybody uses a different kind of gravy and stuff with their turkey, which can be good no matter which way you do it. Uh, but for me, this year, the way my grandma made our turkey with the gravy was amazing. Like, I can't even tell you the brand name or what kind it was, but all I know is it had the perfect balance of sweetness and salt to it, and it was just great, and I wouldn't mind having it again. But anyway, you know, straying off of Thanksgiving again, I hope you guys had a great one, you know, so. But uh, I think I'm going to keep you up to date on some of the games I've been playing, and uh, here I fail. Uh, one of the games I've recently been playing was Uncharted 3. I actually got... Uh, to mission 12 I believe in the campaign and um, so if you guys are going to come here and leave any spoilers I would uh, advise you not to uh, I would appreciate it I don't want to know what happens I'd rather do that in my own time but anyway uh, I have not played the multiplayer to Uncharted 3 I have done some co-op and um, you know I know the multiplayer on Uncharted is a big thing for a lot of people that enjoy the game but it's just not for me and no I don't think that it's not fun I'm just more into my military type warfare games you know so and I know I didn't get Battlefield Bad or Battlefield 3 <laughs> Battlefield Bad Company uh, Battlefield 3 you know because overall the the looks and the graphics of that game is cool but there's a lot of bugs and I just can't be ours to deal with that stuff you know if they're gonna make packaging and stuff I'm sure down the few road I'll look it up and uh, probably check it out but as of now it's more of a rent for me but uh, speaking of uh, rental games, uh, I actually rented um, Deus Ex Human Revolution, which you know was nominated for a subcategory Game of the Year, I believe, on Spike TV's website. Uh, it didn't get a nominee for Game of the Year, which I'm kind of disappointed about because uh, when I knew that game was coming out, I knew it was going to be great, and I had high expectations for it, with, uh, which it actually surpassed. And it kind of makes me feel bad now because I wanted to buy that game. You know, it's really fun, and if you play games like Splinter Cell, uh, Hitman, you know, Metal Gear Solid, I'm sure you're going to notice some of that in the core gameplay. And uh, overall, like, Deus Ex has to be my game of the year. You know, if I could put that on paper, that would be it. But uh, anyway, back to um, Uncharted. I actually, uh, I got to, like I said, Mission 12, and I returned the game. And I wanted to get WWE 12, but I couldn't because it was all rented out, and... I know wrestling is fake, obviously, but I get it for the pain tool and stuff because they implanted that in uh, SmackDown vs. Raw 2011, and ever since then I've just been really highly addicted to making logos. I think it's cool to, you know, just see what it looks like on a fantasy t-shirt if you can't do it in real life. Um, but anyway, and drop shot, drop shot, uh, -huh. <laughs> anyway, um, you know, I just like getting uh, the WWE games for like the logos and stuff. like. My biggest thing is just creating stuff. But anyway, uh, they didn't have that, so I went with the next best thing, which was um, GoldenEye 007 Reloaded, which was ported from the Wii over to the PS3. And uh, it's funny I'm doing a Modern Warfare 3 commentary here, because if you guys have played that game, or if you haven't, uh, yeah, it's pretty much Call of Duty with James Bond. And I know a lot of people compare a lot of games to Call of Duty, but this game is the exact equivalent of Call of Duty. Everything from the, uh, the accolades to the weapon attachments to the perks to the unlocks and stuff, they got like almost everything that Call of Duty has. And they even have this mode, which is like Spec Ops, it's called uh, M16 Ops, and I'll get into that in a second. But uh, the fad here, uh, actually did good with this gun in this game here. But um, I'm actually at level 80, and this is some old gameplay, so I'm commentating over it. Sorry if it's a little bit late. But uh, I love the fags uh, overall look and design. 
But if you try putting a suppressor or silencer on this gun, expect to get owned because it does not help you one bit. Especially with like the lag in the servers and stuff, this game will just get you killed as you can see right there. Um, but anyway, uh, here I start using some of my kill streak rewards. But back to GoldenEye, it's ex exactly like Call of Duty. Like I said, um, the campaign's great, the graphics are great, you know, but if I had to, you know, lay a gripe out there, it's the multiplayer. That is probably the most disappointing part of the whole game. And uh, what I mean by that is there's a lot of screen tearing and frame rate job, and if you guys play it, you're going to notice that it's Call of Duty, but the multiplayer is subpar Call of Duty, you know, and I know Call of Duty doesn't have the greatest servers, but compared to um, this game, this game's servers is like God, okay, so when you play that game, you're just going to be like, what, you know, but like I said, the campaign is great, so if you want to pick it up, pick it up for the campaign, I wouldn't advise you to pay 50 bucks, and speaking of 50 bucks, why are all these uh, ported over games and collections starting to cost more and more, do you guys notice that with like God of War, uh, collection was like 30 and then now they just keep going up and up it's so ridiculous because freaking this game didn't even come with like a upscaled uh, HD port of um GoldenEye Frank 64 so like whatever you know I, I still think 50 bucks is a little bit ludicrous and it could be um, you know it could be cheaper but that's just Activision for you you know they're the king of sales next to Infinity Wars so but anyway you know, it's an enjoyable game. Pick it up if you like Call of Duty. Otherwise, just wait till a price drop and, you know, get it for everything. But, um, anyway, guys, I want to get to this portion of the video and tell you that I'm doing, uh, the double XP code giveaways for Mountain, or, uh, Doritos. You know, so I've already done two giveaways so far, you know, and they're all legit. Everybody can, uh, vouch that got the code in the videos that, you know, they work and stuff, so... You know, don't stray away from the competitions. I advise you to keep entering because, you know, you could have a chance to win. I got a few more codes to give out, so, you know, don't give up too early. But, um, yeah, just keep trying to enter those. And, uh, anyway, I want to give some shout-outs in this video since I'm getting pretty close to the end. Uh, one is to Hybrid Gamer, which is Mr. Slim 30 on YouTube. He's a great guy. He's actually Caribbean, and he's one of my best friends. He's got this cool accent that... You know, you really can't not like, and uh, I'm kind of jealous because I want that accent, so give it to me. <laughs> anyway, um, there's a shout out to Mr. Slim. Another person I want to give a shout out to is Derek Point of View. Uh, he does a lot of commentaries and stuff, and he's a pretty cool guy, so check him out. Sponge Belt, Unreal Man 42, and yeah, guys, here's my game winning kill. I go 30 and 5, like I said. And, uh, yeah, this is actually my first, uh, 30 and 5 game where I got anything past 20, so I was pretty rewarding. But anyway, guys, here's the end. Uh, I look forward to talking in my next commentary. Take care, and thanks for watching.